I'm sure you have done all your three motifs of your cluster blocks, these motifs, this and this, and you have done the depth eye inside. Now we're ready to do the non-stitch. Non-stitch is a very uh, strong and sturdy edging for most of the needle crafts. I love this stitch because it will not make, uh, give you a bulky edge. If you're going to do like a hem stitching, you will fold the fabric. It will be too bulky and it's not nice as a bookmark. So we try to make it as flat as we can. So to me, the non-stitch is the best way to end a bookmark. So on this, uh, when I use this linen, and I wanted this much, uh, this much wide bookmark. I think from here I counted 10 threads and this is uh, 10 from here. Actually 12 including the edge. I'll show you how to do it later. So this is from here you count uh, 8 and that will be this and then I mean 10, 10 threads. It's up to you as long as your edge is I mean, you're, when you count, it's even number. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You want it very close? Just 2, that's fine. 4, 6. So it's up to you how wide or how narrow you want your bookmark to be. So um, for this size, I counted 10 and then another 2. I'll show you how to do the non stitch. This was taught to me by my teacher, Linda Driscoll. This is her book. Um, this is how... She illustrates how to do the non-stitch. And this is what I showed you in the instruction. This is her book. Linda Driscoll is so nice. I've learned so many things from her, including tatting. And she always writes something for the student when you study under her. So from this book, this shows how to do the non-stitch. This is uh, illustrated as it's as if it's done on linen. So here, you come up here at one, up. She makes it when you have a dot, that's where your needle comes up. And then when you have the arrow, that's where your needle goes down. So here, come up here, one, down at here. And then you will see there are two stitches. So that means you have to repeat. Up again here at one, and down here. Okay, and then after that, one, two, three, four. And then after that, uh, from here, you go down two threads. So up here, down after two, up, and then down. After that, you will have a diagonal stitch at the back. So your needle will be diagonally two threads down here. So from here, you go two threads down, dapat di kailera nito, the same line. So up here at three, down, another one, always twice. It's always done twice, so it's very strong. So it keeps your fabric from fraying, that's why they have to do it twice. And then up here again, one, second time, and then diagonally to go to five, down, down, and then here, so on so forth, until you get to the corner. So let's demonstrate it on, um, let's try doing this on the Aida. So as I said, it's better to uh, count uh, even, even number. So if this is, for example, you have all these three here, the, all these three motifs will have this as their furthest side, furthest uh, cluster block on the left. Always start on the left. Huh? because um, you want to keep, if you will notice, this is the open side. This is stitch, this is not stitch. This open side should be towards the edge of your fabric because that is where you will cut later on this. Okay, so from here, I would, uh, I would count maybe one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, that means that's eight, eight threads. Five, and then it can be here. So it's up to you where you want to, to start. So the reason why I'm starting here is because 
I want to start where the uh, the one closest to the left side, to the left edge. So if you were here, you can start on the on this part on your first uh, cluster block. So if I want to start here, so of course our our away waste nut put it anywhere. So let's see, one, two, three, four. So that's eight. And then 10. If I want to 10 here, that means I will have to go to the other side, to the next one. Because I'm counting up to here. So to make it easier, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, okay. So I am now, I am now here at 1. And go down. This is assuming that it will be two threads, huh? Down. And then up again, the same hole. And then you pull. And then you go down. Okay? It's easier if you do the sewing method here. So, when you're doing this on linear and you're scooping two threads, huh? So, that's the second. You pull. You have to pull. So, go back here and then do the diagonal stitch here. Okay. So, we're starting again from left to right. Go, go to the same, back to the same hole. So I said, always do it twice. And when, when you do, you, the second time you do it, you change direction. Now it's going down. So from top to bottom. Again, top to bottom. Well, there's no stitch yet, huh? So this is the first stitch. Do another one. But when you do the second one, you change direction. There are many books showing how to do the non-stitch. This is another book. I have asked permission from my friend, Pat Carson, if I can use her instructions. So it's here up. This is linen again. Up, here, down. And then the second time you do it, you go two threads down. So you go up and then another one. When you do the second, you change the direction and then continue, start again here. Two horizontal, two vertical, two horizontal, two vertical, until you have done it around. I have I have tried it using four threads. Four threads, it's not as fine, but it will still hold your fabric. So, kung natatagalan, if you find it too long to do the just using two threads, uh, stitching on two threads, you can make it four, but it will not be as fine as the one that I showed you before, which is this one. So it's the same one, but this is over two threads. This is over four threads. Now, once you have done, you will do it all around. So from here, when you turn, you make sure that this will be the same number of stitches away from here. And then the same way up to here. So you will, you will do it around. Uh, let me see. I made a cross stitch. So you, you can do the non-stitch, even if not on hardanger. I made this uh, verse, a Bible verse, but I think I made it too wide. So I, I'm just, I did it myself. So I didn't figure out how, low, how wide it will be. But um, so here, I use the non-stitch. And um, since it's already wide, I only skip two threads. So the reason why I left this un uncut is I want to show you how to cut. This is the same way you do it with your linen. Again, always cut, same here, as much as possible on the left side. 
Pero it's okay kung ano, kasi hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya mahirap. I mean, it's okay if you cut it on the right side because uh, it doesn't matter if there will be some threads coming out from the... So, this is how you cut. I'll start from here so it's not... Just cut along the... See? And when you get to the corner, keep cutting. Make sure you are cutting the, on the same line, huh? Keep the line. Make sure it's a line. I, by the way, before you cut, make sure that you have same number of threads or squares from your last stitch. Or just measure it if you want. Kailangan, they should be together. Pantay. Because once you have fringed it <coughs> like this, and you want, for example, example, you didn't measure it, and this is longer, it's harder to cut and make it the same length as the other one if it's already fringed. That's why you have to cut it first. I mean, uh, make sure you measure this to be the same same length before you cut the, the fabric on the side. If you're finding it easier to cut on the right side, it's okay. You can even cut at the back. But make sure, again, you cut all the way there. And you do it on the same, on the same side. The other side, I mean. The reason why I'm starting from the middle is I don't know where to start from here. Although we can tell, but just to make sure that you will be cutting it on the right uh, thread uh, line, then you can start in the middle. <laughs> 